I ended up in mosaics kind of by happenstance. I was always interested in art, but hadn't found a medium where I really felt that I was good at it. The idea of a blank canvas was very overwhelming because I didn't know how to fill it. But with mosaics, I really love that everything is planned out and I love the materials. I think it's wonderful to have art in your home and I have a lot of art in my home, but I really love the idea of multiple people in a space experiencing a piece of art at the same time, even if they're all taking away different interpretations. I think that's a really beautiful thing. I'm Olivia Rarick and I'm a master mosaicist. What attracted me to it is the the challenge of it. There's a lot of constraints within Mosaic that I think are really inspiring. They, it makes it easier for me to come up with ideas when I'm navigating size or the material and how it's going to hold up in the environment that it'll be placed in or even the fact that you can't go back over what you've done. I was born in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. And then my family moved to Italy when I was 11. When I was 16, I went to visit the school that I would go to in the future, um, which is the Scuola Mosaicisti del Friuli. I ended up attending there when I was 19. And while I was there, ended up falling in love and deciding that that's really what I wanted to do with myself. Something like this took about 200 hours. And this, for portraiture, it's extremely detailed. And the process is you take the image and map every single piece, essentially, beforehand. You have to fit each piece exactly how you planned it so that the shape of the pieces themselves help to give the idea of the shape of the face, rather than being an incidental aspect of mosaic, you're actually using them to enhance the, the realism of the piece. Technique, I think, is really important to learn. I don't think that's an objective truth. You'll have people who, who don't care about it, and that's fine. For me, I always liked the idea of learning all of the really difficult techniques and really getting into how it works so that I could decide not to do it if I wanted to. I worked for Stephen Miotto of Miotto Mosaics, which was a job I really loved and introduced me to public art mosaics. I had the opportunity to work on several projects for the MTA, including close to here, 53rd Street on the R, was a piece by Micheline Thomas, which was really cool, because now that's very close to where I live. I love New York City, I'm from here, and I just adore it. And to be contributing to the city itself in a way that is very visible and people notice and take pictures of and everything I think is really, really rewarding. Something that we talked about a lot while we were in school and something that I've really taken to heart is this idea of mosaics as mosaics rather than just a medium to translate other mediums into a long-lasting mosaic. So I like to design my personal pieces as something that must be a mosaic. In the future, I would like to have several designs that are being produced as commercial or residential mosaics, which is something that I really enjoy. Um, I really like that challenge also, because there's a whole lot of uh, regulations that you need to fit in with. I also am really interested in doing a line of furniture with mosaic elements, which I think is not something I've seen much of and I think would be a really, really beautiful effect. And that's something that I'm really interested in right now. The most personal project that I ever did was a piece that I don't have anymore. It's called Rupture. And it was a piece I did while I was in school during my last year. And it was the first piece I did where I really kind of found my voice and it was inspired by uh, actually a really devastating heartbreak but it ended up creating I think 
the most beautiful piece I've made and had a disagreement with my teacher on that one about how I was making it and it was the first time where I felt very strongly like no I need to make it exactly like this how I planned it out and she let me do it which was great and and after that I really felt like I had broken into that part of myself that I was kind of uh, holding back up until then and now now usually I I like what I make.